Hey there, this is Kalyan from Blackbox Tech and today I am going to show you how to set and get environment variables within your Angular application. So now environment variables are a fundamental part of developing with Node.js allowing you your app to behave differently based on different environment you want them to run in. There should be no hard-coded URL or values within your application which will help you to deploy your app in any environment without changing your code. So without any further delay, let's get started. I have already cloned the last project and let me start by creating a branch for this week tutorial. I am giving a name of sp2. To create environment variable within our project, I will first start by installing .env node modules. Once that is installed, I will create a .env file in the project root. Let's add some variable inside it. Now it's time to make those variable available whenever your SSR project start. I will start by requiring the .env module within the server.ts. You can also pass custom environment path within this config. Now it's always better to create an express route where you can easily check all the available environment variables. Let's create that as well. Whenever there is a request, come to this URL slash env. In our case, it will be localhost colon port and then slash env. It will give a JSON response containing all the environment variables. Before completing this part, let's test this by changing our application port to 9000 in our env file. So as per this code, the application now should start on port 9000 instead of port 8000 if the variables loads correctly. You can see the application is now running on port 9000. Let's see if our environment variable loaded correctly by going to slash env route. Yes, it's correctly loaded. Now let's try to use this variable within our angular app.
All of our variables is accessible through process.env.variable name. Let's pass the variable to our Angular app via extra provider option in ng express engine. Now, let's try to access the variable inside our app component. The providers we have added are available within Angular via Injector. Let's add the Injector inside our constructor. We'll also inject the platform ID to make sure we are on server. Also remember, now these variables are only available when the apps run on server and that can be accessed like this. So make sure this method only runs on server. Now we'll wrap this like this for now. Now let's run the app again. There is some problem in the title in the app component. Let's fix that. Now let's run the app again. In node console, we can see Angular pull the CDN underscore URL value 
and add it in console correctly and in browser the else part is also working in the next tutorial i will show you how to leverage this process to store the variables and make those available while our app running in client as well so that's pretty much it hope it helps you if it did then don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so you might not miss any tutorial any tips thanks for all your support i will see you guys in next week until then stay tuned and have a great week ahead